All right, welcome back to module one, course introduction. This is lesson two, database engines. And we're in the first and only sub lesson 2.2, database engine overview. So what is a database? Well, a database, if we look up the definition, is a structured set of data held in a computer, especially one that is accessible in various ways. Now that definition, definition is very broad and would cover a lot of things. For example, you could put a bunch of data in Excel and then call it a database. You could put a lot of data in a notepad and then call it a database. Um, because it's essentially becoming just that, a structured set of data held in the computer. Now, what is a database engine? Well, a database engine, if we look up the definition of that, we get kind of a complicated definition. So a database engine or storage engine is the underlying software component that a database management system, DBMS, uses to create, read, update, and delete, CRUD, data from a database. So to put that much more simply, a database engine is simply software that manages a database. So there are a lot of those out there. There's MySQL, which we're going to be working with in this course. There's Microsoft SQL. There's the IBM database. Uh, there's the Firebase that Google has. There are some other ones as well. So which database should you learn or which database engine should you learn? Well, we're, we're actually kind of lucky that there are standards being pushed out with respect to what structured query language should support and be. What does that mean? That means that if you get really good at SQL in one database, you'll be able to take a lot of what you know into another database and acclimate to that database very quickly. Now, you might not get very specific questions correct right out the bit out the uh, out the gate because in one database you might have called a a specific type of join a Cartesian join. And then in another database, they might have called it a cross join. And if you've never thought of it as a cross join, of course, you, you're not aware of that until you see it. And then you're like, oh, OK, I know what that is. It's just we called that something else over there. So what that means is that we can learn and get really good at SQL in one engine and take a lot of what we've learned and apply it in another engine pretty quickly. So just to give you an example, let me pull up a query that we will use later on in this course. This is a query written for MySQL against the Acumatica database that gets installed later as well. So this will run in MySQL. This is currently running against MySQL. Now if I take this and I copy this query and I go into Microsoft SQL, which is now where we are right now, and I paste that query. I see a red squiggly line, but only one. Now, if I just try to run this query, I'll get an error. It'll say the type sign is not a defined system type, which is the underlying word here. So signed is a type of integer or number, and Microsoft SQL doesn't call it that. So to make this compatible with Microsoft SQL, we, we only need to change one thing. We need to change that sign to an integer. Now, if we run it, it'll work. In fact, there's a way we could make this query work in either database with no changes. We just get rid of the cast statement. And this will still run. Now, if we take it back into MySQL and just paste it in there as is, it'll still run. So both of these queries produce the same results and send the database engine the equivalent command and we get the expected results which are the same back. This shows how similar the SQL statements are between MySQL and Microsoft SQL and the same is true for Oracle and IBM. A lot of times you could potentially take the exact same query that you've written uh, copy it and paste it into the other database and the other database will run just fine. Now there are other nuances such as the cast statement as well as the limit one. For example, if we uh, want to only get one record back, we have to put limit one in MySQL and we get one record back. But if we wanted the same effect in Microsoft SQL, we select top one and we get the same effect. Um, so there are little differences, differences such as that, but the relationships stay the same, the one-to-one, one-to-many, 
many to many Cartesian products, they might give it a different name. Like in one database, they might call it a cross join. But once you understand that, you'll recognize it as the same thing and adjust accordingly. So that completes this lesson on database engines. We briefly described what a database is, what a database engine is. A database is just a basically a safe set of data. And it's very broad, could include text documents, Excel, or databases, them, database engine data themselves. And then we discussed database engine, which is software that specializes in database storage, or CRUD operations, which stands for create, update, delete. Basically putting data in the database, deleting data if necessary, and updating data, as well as retrieving it. And we looked at how similar the SQL can be, can be between two different database engines. And why getting good at SQL in one database engine gives you a lot of ability in other database engines that follow the structured query language constructs as well. Anyways, that completes this lesson, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you.